Hello everyone, it's me, Rhea Peterson. Welcome back to my channel. I have a very long list of things that I want to get done today and I am hoping to help motivate you to accomplish your cleaning and organizing goals as well. I am starting off by taking down the shower curtain in my kids' bathroom. I discovered that this clear one is torn, so I need to replace that. But my goal is to get my kids' bathroom very clean, and then I have a number of other things in my house that I want to get done as well. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Make sure you're subscribed, and let's get started. I'm starting off pretty early in the morning. I've got to take my kids to school and I'm going to run and get a new shower curtain after that. But first I wanted to get as much as I could done in the kids' bathroom. So I'm starting by getting the shower curtain washed. I threw in whatever white towels that I could find and anything else white in the house that needed to be washed so I'd have a full load. Got things switched over and I'm gonna gather my supplies, go into the bathroom and I'm gonna start off by scrubbing their bathtub. I want to get their toys cleaned. They actually weren't that bad. It hadn't been too long since I'd done it, but all I'm going to do is put them in this bucket. <laughs> I found some rogue washcloths, <laughs> but I'm wetting them a little bit. I'm going to spray them with a Clorox bleach spray and I'm going to let them sit and sanitize for a while while I get the bathtub scrubbed. to use the Dawn Power Wash in the showers because it breaks down like oils really easily and I'm bringing out the big guns. I have got my big scrubber. I love this thing. I got it on Amazon. This thing is awesome but I'm using it to just scrub the shower out. Some of the toys will scuff the plastic so this works really well on getting those scuffs out. You need a little bit of elbow grease. It takes a little bit, but it does get those like, like they have some red toy that they keep hitting the sides with and it got those right out. So I'm getting all of the shower scrubbed, rinsed and wiped down. It's really quick work with that scrubber. It has been cold and rainy up here in Oregon, and on this day in particular, it was freezing. I stayed in my sweats all day. Usually I will get dressed at some point, and I suppose you could count this as getting dressed. There's no nothing wrong with sweats, but I will normally get into like jeans or anything because of school pickup and other filming that I might be doing, but on this day, sweats all the way and honestly I was kind of in a funk so the sweats were helping me feel comfortable and cozy while I was doing all of my cleaning. I enjoy cleaning to kind of help process especially when I'm feeling kind of down. It's just something that has always kind of helped me feel better. I don't know why. So it was really nice to have this list of things to do, to be in my comfy clothes and to just get things done. It always feels great to get things accomplished but with that being said like I said I've been in kind of a funk lately so please let me know what's your good news give me some happy things to hear I love when you leave comments and it always just brightens my day At this point, I have taken my kids to school and now I'm getting the laundry changed over. I like to put a few drops of essential oils onto my dryer balls. 
It really freshens the laundry. I prefer dryer balls over the dryer sheets, but I get mine from Plant Therapy. That is their sparkling grapefruit. It's a special like laundry blend that they make and it makes my laundry smell so good. But the shower curtain is in the dryer and while that dries, I'm going to finish up cleaning the bathroom. My kid's bathroom gets the messiest in the house. I do have three kids, two boys and a girl. They are trying to be independent. They do a pretty good job about like all of the bathroom routine for brushing their teeth, but wiping out the sink is not one of those things that they do. So I'm spraying the sinks down with Thieves Cleaner and I'm using my little Rubbermaid scrubber. This thing is the best. I brought out both the scrubbers. They both serve great purposes. I've had this little guy the longest and it is so handy. It really just helps get the gross stuff out of the base of the faucet and I can get it into little nooks and crannies. I used to use just like a regular toothbrush, but this thing is the best addition. Done. I am just going to get these toys rinsed off and put up into their basket to dry and then I did manage to make it to the store and get a new liner to put in the shower. It was long overdue honestly. We'd had that other one for a really long time and it was pretty tattered. So I'm glad that I had the motivation to go and get that. So I'm going to get this new one hung up. This one was actually a little bit thicker than the last one. So I'm hoping that it will last a little bit longer and not tear as easily. But I am going to get this hung up. I don't know if you have shower curtains or not, but I used to do it just from one side and go all the way across. And then one day I wised up. So now I do one end and then I put the other end and then I just kind of alternate a little bit until it is up. And it's nice because you don't have the weight of one side for a while. I don't know why it took me that long to discover that. Do you do that? Am I just really late to the game and I don't put things together well? I feel like that might be the case, but it was very easy to put the shower curtains up this time. I did get a new little rug to put in here. I thought it was going to be longer, but I'm just gonna leave it for now get the new towels in and that is the bathroom done just loving this moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment can we stay here well the next thing on my list is wiping out and reorganizing the refrigerator this was driving me crazy i feel like i can get a really good system going with the fridge for a while and then just something happens and it's chaos again. So I just pulled everything out. I'm using the Mrs. Meyers apple cider spray down here. It smells so good and it makes my house just feel like a 
fall, cozy, magical place. I absolutely love it. But I'm getting everything just wiped out. I'm gonna vacuum out the drawers and then I'm going to put everything back in. There was some old food that I had to throw away, which always hurts a little bit, but it's just kind of what happens sometimes. But otherwise, everything went back into the fridge. It looks really, really good and I'm so happy with it. So I'm gonna finish doing the refrigerator let me know what you're cleaning today. What are your goals? Let's knock it all out. I'm always pushing things too far. Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar. No boundaries, I get too close. No little by little here. Cause I give my all. I pour out my heart oh, little by little here I always run and hit the wall I'd rather jump and risk the fall I see no limits in the sky no little by little here No, no Stuck on working on myself Thought I was wrong and needed help But I'm just different, something else No little by little here Cause I get my better I can see where everything is it looks so good on to the stove vent this thing was gross I am using the Dawn power wash and I sprayed it all down and then I took a wet microfiber cloth just to kind of move it around rub it around make sure that everything was coated in it I did let it sit for a minute and then I came back gross with a the wet rag again went over it and then I used a dry one to polish it up a lot of the times when I'm doing the stainless steel, I'll use just kind of whatever cleaner that I have available or that I've been using on the counters and I will spray it and wipe it down with one side of the rag and then I'll flip it and use the dry side to polish it so that it isn't all streaky and it's great. It means I don't have to get any special stainless steel cleaners or anything and it's really quick and I can just knock out the stainless steel along with the counters. In this case, I was using the Dawn Power Wash. It did have a lot of buildup, but it looks so good and I love how it reflects the purple lights from the Halloween wreath. It is so fun. But now we are on to dishes. This is nothing new. We do dishes together all the time, so I'm gonna knock that out. I need to unload and load the dishwasher and then do all of the hand wash dishes and scrub out the sink and then finish cleaning the kitchen like the stove top and counters and everything. So I'm gonna play some music. We're gonna be motivated, get everything done. Let's go. Faces. I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial. Cause you want dollar bills right now, but you gotta work real hard. I know you want it to be easy, so let your guard down.
knocked you out You felt your limitations And filled your mind with doubt You wanna stay chill right now kitchen the backsplash needed some attention i wanted to get all of the tile wiped down so i did that while i was doing the countertops but the kitchen looks great so we are going to move on to the living room and i'm gonna finally vacuum out the what seems to be now food storage that is under my couch cushions <laughs> oh my goodness there's so much under there we have a love sack i love this couch the pieces clip together really really tight but the food like crumbs will get stuck down there so i have this very uh advanced uh method to get it all out which i will show you in a minute oh, 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 i just feel so lucky oh, 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 still can't believe you love me I'm just kidding it's not advanced at all I just like to be funny I had to bring my corded vacuum down my Dyson just isn't strong enough you need a corded vacuum they are better prove me wrong battery vacuum people send me a vacuum I'll try it prove it to me but I have my corded vacuum here I am going to vacuum out these cracks and it's not advanced I take a butter knife and I slide it into the cracks and I lift up all of the crumbs. If I wanted to be more thorough, I would just unclip everything, but it's a lot of work and I don't want to do that. So I'm just using the butter knife, loosening everything up and kind of pulling it up to the top and then vacuuming it all out. It's tedious, 
It is very satisfying and rewarding though, once you get all of those crumbs out. And my couch, I'm sure, is very grateful that I did this. At the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand So much better. I am using the Dyson to finish vacuuming this couch. Honestly, it's because I lost the attachment to my shark that would do this well. So I'm using the Dyson. I do love my Dyson. I use it downstairs. It was the best thing that happened to me. So I didn't have to use the broom down there anymore, but my battery is about seven years old. I need to replace it. My sweet middle child filled it with water once. So a lot of it is just user problems. The Dyson is good, but I can't use it on its most powerful settings on the couch because the battery will just die really fast. So. I use my shark and it does a great job. But that is the couch done. It looks amazing. I had vacuumed the couch cushions the day before and didn't want to do it again. Why do it again? I just did it. So I'm going to get this blanket folded up, finish up vacuuming in here, and then move on to the next task. Then you took my hands and let's leave now. Don't wanna be shy. are all vacuumed and I'm going to now mop. I like to use my O-Cedar mop and I am running it along the baseboards to get all of the dust and get that cleaned. I don't do this every time that I mop. I usually try to make sure that I do it at least once a month though. So I just have some thieves cleaner and a little bit of dish soap in the bucket with warm water and I'm just going to get everything mopped. As I was mopping I realized how dusty the railing was so I'm gonna take care of that really quick and then get back to mopping. Oh look how dusty it was. Gross. And it's always covered in like food fingerprints because Alice will grab those when she's like eating a snack so this did take a few minutes but it was very nice to have it done I should do it more often Oops. downstairs done so we are going to head back upstairs I am grabbing all of the hang dry stuff out of the washing machine I just have my delicates load that piles up in the sink for a while until I feel like it's big enough to finally do a load so I pulled that out that is going to go dry and I'm going to tidy up my laundry room there's a few areas that need to just kind of be deep cleaned I want to clean out the soap compartment in the washer and clean out the dryer as well so I am going to give my laundry room some attention get that all cleaned but then that is it for the day so let's get this done I am pulling out my soap compartment most of them come out for years I did not know that it did this I do read the manuals but I don't memorize them so I forgot but I pulled it out I'm wiping out this insert here it was not too bad which was very nice I'm always a little trepidatious when I do this that's a good word right but then all of these little compartments come out it all comes apart so that I can scrub it I have some soap on the little blue attachment for my scrubber so I'm just using that to wipe it all out and then as that dries I will wash out everything else Moonlight and fire 
Dancing closely together and staying forever young. What about you and I then? Can we do The rubber rim was not bad. There wasn't a lot of mold, so I didn't use bleach or anything. I just have some thieves cleaner. I am wiping that out. I try to wipe this out when I do a load of towels and I will often also wipe out the soap container if it has any buildup or anything just to kind of stay on top of it and keep things clean so that it doesn't get really bad so that was quick work I'm just getting the dust and lint build up here around the rim that always seems to happen and then wiping down the front done with the laundry room and with all of my cleaning goals for the day it feels so good to knock all of these things off the list especially kind of going into it being like anxious and in a funk honestly a lot of the times I will resort to cleaning when I'm anxious because it is something I can control and a lot of the times when I'm anxious I don't really know what's causing it I'm just feeling anxious that day so I want to be busy and cleaning is just kind of my default it always has been I enjoy the sense of accomplishment afterwards for sure. But otherwise, I hope that this motivated you to get the tasks done that you needed to do and that you are having a good day. I am just getting these baseboards dusted and then I'm going to clean the floors. My camera did get blurry here in the end, so sorry about that. But thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope that you consider subscribing if you're not already. I have lots coming up going into the holidays, but I'm really excited to share with you all. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Bye.